Damn, look at that shine. So, yesterday I took this to uh, Mount Kif Kisco Chevrolet where I bought it. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I want to I wanna say something positive about Mount Kisco Chevrolet. Uh, a couple of things, actually. Number one, uh, I found the dealership by accident online, even though I've been going to Target across the street and I never realized it was there for a long time. Because I'm not really a Chevy guy. But, of course, when I heard about the new Trax redesign, it intrigued me. I test drove it. I loved it. I bought it there. Now, I see on the Facebook group um, for the 2024 Trax that I'm a member of that a lot of people are seeing dealerships pull the same crap they did last year with, like, the Ford Maverick and, and other cars that were, you know, hot and new and people wanted. Dealerships just can't help themselves but throw on a $1,500 stripe package that costs them $100. You know, they're looking for all these cheap and easy ways to gouge you. I am proud to say that Mount Kisco Chevrolet did not do that with us. I paid sticker price. I didn't get anything below sticker price. I didn't get any discounts. I paid sticker price. And since I brought my own financing, I didn't have to worry about any of that bullshit. So, Mount Kisco Chevrolet, absolutely fantastic. The salesman, uh, Ryan and Jimmy, the two fellows that helped me, great guys. Uh, I understand that uh, Ryan is now moving over to the used car department, as, uh, like a used car manager, so that's good for him. He's a nice young man. So, uh, the service department, Dennis and uh, Gavin, uh, have taken care of me uh, quite a bit recently. So I had my first oil change done early at 1,200 miles. That was on me. It was a free oil change from them. I took it prematurely because my history is I always get a fir first oil change around 1,500 miles. Get rid of all the filings and everything from when the engine breaks in. But they say they don't do that anymore, so just as well. I had the second oil change done around 5,000 miles. Now I've got almost 6,000, and I just had the infotainment um, update and uh, I dropped the car off at the dealership and picked it up the next day um, I noticed no real changes but isn't that the good thing in other words I noticed nothing unusual everything is working as it should which is why they did the update so I don't have any lagging I don't have any flashing of the screen but it's only been less than 24 hours so but I'm gonna call it fixed so uh, and God damn, they hand washed it and they did a sweet job. I don't know if you could see it through the camera as much, but I tell you, I, I when I when I put my hands directly, my eyes directly on the car instead of through the camera, damn, it shines. Which really ticked me off yesterday because the idiot contractor that was blowing the leaves over there came by and he blew up all the leaves onto both of my cars. This had just been washed, so I cursed like a sailor. But, uh, so almost 6,000 miles and, you know, it just keeps on getting better. Is it perfect? No, but nothing is. But it's a hell of a car. So for those of you that have a 2024 Trax, I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. And for those that are debating on getting a 2024 Trax, if you can do without all-wheel drive, this could be the car for you. You know, uh, and I am seeing people from snow belt states saying, oh, no, these things do fine. You just put on good snow tires. I saw one person said, oh, I got my new Blizzaks, uh, which are the Bridgestone Blizzak snow tires, which have got to be like one of the best snow tires you can get. As far as, But then again, I'm a New Yorker. We don't get snow tires. We get all seasons. Ask somebody from Michigan about snow tires. But God, I love this car. So uh, just a quick update. Everything's going real well with my tracks. Have a great day.